All right. Um, here, here, here's something that um, that Western media hasn't told you. Maybe you've heard about the theater uh, that was bombed, a uh, quote unquote bombed by Russians outside the theater. There was big messages that said children inside. I bet you've heard Western media breathlessly talking about this for weeks. Have you heard about this? And the destroyed theater of Mariupol, the port of Donbass on the Black Sea, summarizes the tragic history. Mariupol, that's where the Azov battalion's hanging out. Of that city, which is or where still they just left. In fierce fighting, right there. However, a new story rises on the ruins. Alejandro Kirk has more. I, t I told you when, when this whole shit was breaking out, we mentioned that we would be learning stuff. Uh, 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 we would be hearing about stuff coming out of the fog of war and it, it, it would be presented as one way and we just know that down the road we're going to find out, well, actually, no, the truth is, is, the, is something else. This is one of those things. This is the theater of Mariupol. It's been taken by the Russian forces already for two weeks and it was destroyed, according to uh, the Russian spokesman, um, by the Ukrainian forces, which were... Uh, installed in this theater and had hostages in the basement. Uh, we so one of those things is true. It's either the Russians did it or the Ukrainians did it. Like, who would put it past the Nazis to do something like this and then try to blame the Russians? We were told that uh, this was exploded from inside uh, by the... It was exploded by inside retreating Ukrainian forces, by the retreating re Ukrainian forces. Uh, trying to uh, blame Russia for the... Uh, this is a cultural catastrophe and also um, to slow the advancement of Russian troops. A reporter in and of course, the media breathlessly shared this story saying that Russians did it. Hamlet and Artemis they don't know. On the scene is certainly a good way to tell the story of the city of Mariupol in the Donbass. But this other simpler one is perhaps much better. This shelling continues every day and night. Thank God that Russia has come to give us food and help us. Anyway, how many weeks did it all last? Pretty much since the beginning of March. Things have been going downhill. All the houses around us were on fire, burning all around us. Just as there is a time of destruction, there is a time of creation. Hopefully, after that, it will be a creation time. But still, sometimes, everything repeats itself. Oh. The tragedy in Mariupol has its own... Was that a time as the flat circle? I didn't really understand. ...name, Azov Battalion, near Nazis settled in these buildings, every other floor, to shoot at Russian troops. They didn't let the residents escape and then fled to barricade themselves in the Azovstal steel complex. Tell me, are you saying that you saw these snipers? Where did they come from? From the houses, from the attics, usually. What did they look like? Yes, I saw the one doing the shooting. I saw the telescopic sight. I didn't see exactly how he fired the shots. But when they were coming down from the penthouse, I saw the sniper rifle. With the sniper rifles? Yes, I saw the one doing the shooting. I saw the telescopic sight. I didn't see exactly how he fired the shots, but when they were coming down from the penthouse, I saw I just, the sniper rifle. Did I just repeat? I think they just did the same clip. The interview the was room? conducted by Maxim Grigoriev, a special investigator of crimes against humanity in the Donbass. Hey, Rad Left Ed, we're watching um, uh, Tell Us Sewer talking about that Talking about that theater in Ukraine, you maybe remember Western media breathlessly talking, I keep saying this, breathlessly talking about how Russians bombed the theater. Outside the theater, there was written children inside, right, in Russian. Well, Russian spokesman says, and of course, it's from the Russian spokesman, you take that with a grain of rice or whatever, for whatever that's worth. Uh, Russian spokesman says, actually, the Azov battalion bombed it from inside when they were leaving to slow down Russian forces. They but of course, you're not going to hear about this in Western media. To the, they shoot people. They occupy buildings, civilian buildings. Talking about how Nazis occupy civilian buildings to shoot at the Russians, engaging in warfare in in, um, in civilian areas without letting them leave. They occupy schools, hospitals. Uh, they use. So when they say, "Oh, the United States or 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 Russians bombed a school or they bombed a hospital," maybe this is why. Maybe it's because there are Nazis inside of them shooting at the Russians. Them as a place for artillery. War is fucking hell. I'm not like simping for the Russians here, but I'm just fucking saying, guys. 
war is fucking hell and it's also uh uh, uh it's it's like it's propaganda war as well, okay? And that's obviously what we, me sitting over here, you know, in the United States, in the Imperial Corps, this is, this is how I experience the war, is via the propaganda. But if you're not looking for this kind of stuff uh, 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 and and sort of looking out for alternate explanations, you're going to get hooked, you're going to get uh, hooked in uh, line and sinker, hook, line and sinker into the Imperial Corps propaganda. You're going to be hawking CIA propaganda. Well, thanks. Uh, hey, no, nothing. Art. They, they, they spe they, they, this is a special technique. They hiding near the civil building. I think that's a war crime. They shoot from there, and then goes somewhere else. Or, for example, they occupy the, the floor or apartments and organize the, the, the place to to fire fire. Like, they, they, they just organize military position there, and the people was from the left, from the right. Or upstairs or downstairs. The new life, however, has just begun. Wow. I think 70 80 percent of the city has already been liberated. But again, I'm not military and I don't know the full situation. The first and most important thing is to feed, give water, and provide at least medical care to all people who are sick. You see, we organize ourselves with the help. Do I believe the Russian claims about fighting Nazi forces? No, I, I don't believe. I don't believe that. I, I mean, they're, they're likely fighting Nazis. I mean, we know that that's the case. But I don't think that's why they went there. I don't buy it. Of, ...of the Republican centers of the Republic and the Russian... Oh, sorry, and... And just so I understand this video, this is claiming, yes, and it's, again, it's coming from a Russian spokesman. Russian spokesman says the Nazi forces, when retreating from Mariupol, bombed that theater. Right? Now, do you or I know whether or not that's true? No. Does Western media know whether or not Russian forces bombed that theater? No. But they said it anyways, and they've been saying it for the past two weeks, right? So one of these two stories is true, but you're only hearing one side of it in Western media. That's what I'm illustrating. We all organize a decent life for our city. I hope that this city, I have already said, will revive, that it will be a tourist city, as in the old Soviet times. Both Moskowitz and St. Petersburgers will be able to rest here, and that's in the middle of the city on the Sea of Azov. It was always very much loved by the children, and that's why I think things will work here. Life will get better. All this will end. It's all... He's got a CCCPP. He's got a CCCP pin. We all know that. I grew up here. There were no Nazis here. I only heard the word in Ukrainian in my Ukrainian language class. Yurasova Lydia Ivanova. She was my class teacher. We are multi-ethnic people. Ours is a beautiful city for all plurinational country. Cristian Inostroza y Alejandro Kirk, Telesur, Mariupol, Donbass. There you have it. That's the clip. Please like, please comment on the YouTube, subscribe, and hang out with me here on Twitch. I stream daily, twitch.tv slash Iden Simpson. You can support the channel by supporting for $3 a month on Patreon. That'll get you early access to all of my interviews. Leftists and chill. All right, love your face. Thanks for watching.